Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Our next guest is a singer-songwriter who recently released his debut album, Flamingo Drive. Please help me welcome back to the show, Antonio Ramsey. Welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, man. I'm so excited to be back, man. I'm excited for this album, Beyond. Just thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. And I will just tell you, the debut album is finally here. We're going to talk about that. But first, Ooh. explain to me Funk Trap. What's that? Funk Trap. So the good thing is I'm so glad I'm getting asked this question this go round with this yeah. project because it, Funk Trap started out as a sound of music because everybody know I love old school music. The Isley yeah. Brothers, Rick yeah. James. All that kind of music, but I'm also from Florida. I'm a Florida boy, so I like right, right, flies. Right. You know, I got my Trina, so I gotta. I wanted to find a way to merge those two sounds together. But yeah. as I went along and created music, it became much more than that. Now it's kind of a lifestyle. I want everybody to know what funk trap is. Funk trap is living for yourself, not caring what nobody else got to think about yeah. you. You know, in this world of social media, it's we we're out to look at other people's lives and envy them. We ain't gotta do all that. Your life is good right now. As long as you're smiling, living life, you're having a good time. So that's what Funk Trap has become. It's a lifestyle. So I want people to embrace that. Most definitely. Let me ask you this now. Um, I know you're not from Miami, but Issa Rae has a new show out called Rap Shit. Woo! Have you seen that? And does that take you home when you watch it? Shout out to Easter. So I'm originally from Boynton Beach, Florida, but I moved to Miami when I was young. So okay. I, 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 okay. I claim both. I claim both Boynton okay. and Miami, but... It's so good to see home on TV. It's so good to see yeah. that vibe, to hear that that talk on TV. Uh, I forget the main character's name, uh, but shout out to Issa Rae for that yeah. show, man. It's that dope. show. It's I dope. like how they shot it too. It's shot differently, so it's keep you on your toes. So I love yeah. the, way, the, the route they're going. Yeah, she got the call. You get you on there. Get you on there. You know what I'm saying? Let's get Antonio Ramsey on rap. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you shared the stage with the likes of Fantasia, like Jennings. Uh, Anthony Hamilton, Bobby Brown, just to name a few. How did you get started in working with those, those that caliber of artists? So the fortunate thing is that I have a great manager named Ziggy. Um, and Ziggy is a hard worker, man. Anything yeah. you say, anything as an artist, I can say, Ziggy, I'm trying to do this. He'll do what you got to do to try to make it happen. So uh, I remember when I first moved to Atlanta and I started working with Ziggy, I was like, oh, what? I love Fantasia. It's one of my favorite artists. He was like, yo, Funny thing is, it's a small world. He kind of uh, yeah. knew her manager. So we tried to talk. We let him hear the music. And I got the opportunity to open up for her. So after that first open, I opened up a couple more times. And man, from there, just kind of snowball, opened up for a couple yeah. more artists. And I love it, man. I love the stage. That's why I shine the most. What were some of your uh, favorite experiences early on, you know, working with those type of artists? Like, do you have any that just stand out? Yeah, man. I performed at, um, in Mississippi, uh, Ole Miss. My sister was going to Ole Miss at the time. Okay. And I got to open for Fantasia. And that was the first time my sister got to see me live. My friends got to see me live. It was just a, such a great feeling to be in the presence of family at the same time of opening for one of my favorite artists in the world, mm -hmm. man. So that's one of my greatest memories, man, being able to have that experience. And when did you know that you could sing? I mean, when did you know that you had this talent? Well, you know, you, you always know you got yeah. a little hum. You know, you always think you can hum a little bit, you know. No, but I was always, I was a dancer first. So yeah. dancing was my life, man. Not like that was my eat, sleep, breathe was dancing. Yeah. But I always used to hum a little bit, you know, I always used to think about singing. But it was uh, the manager of another artist I was working with who actually pushed me to say, hey, you should try. Your voice sounds good. Mm -hmm. I recorded Anthony Hamilton, Charlene. Yeah. And then, man, I just kind of started working with different rappers, doing hooks, because, you know, you got to get your foot in the door first. Yeah. And then from there, man, it just snowballed. I started doing my own music, and people were like, hey, you sound cool. I love your voice, your texture, your voice. The type of music you're doing is different. So right. I just started getting opportunities, man, and here we are. Flamingo Drive is out now. Flamingo Drive. <laughs> well, not only do you do music, but you also did a short film called Audacity, where you played the lead. When did this happen? I knew nothing about this. Tell us about it. What was man, the experience? Listen, I, the biggest, and I can, I can say this for anything, the biggest thing I can say that I'm glad I did was move to L.A. Move to L.A. opened up so yeah. many doors for me, man. Like, as soon as I got here, I did a show, and Sybil Kerr, she's an amazing producer, director, writer. Uh, she saw me, she was like, you got a lot of charisma. She was like, um, yeah. you ever done anything in the acting world? I was like, well, not really. You know, I've done some stage plays, stuff like that in school, but nothing serious. So she introduced me to Abdul Malik, and from there, man, he had a part. He was like, you'll be perfect for it. So I looked at the script. I was like, yeah, I'm perfect for this role. This sounds like something that'll happen. So the audacity on Amazon Prime now, man, I got the role and it was exciting. Since then, I've done commercials, sketches, Stella Rosa, yeah. done a lot of things, man. So I'm excited, man. You see yourself doing some more uh, acting? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Acting is acting is like another extension of uh, of being on stage for me. It just feels right. like I'm, 
you know, just extension of my artistry. So I feel like I could definitely see myself becoming a series regular on something, you know, being in some big films. So I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing it all, man. We speaking it for it, Funk Trap. Let's Welcome do it, up. Funk Trap, all 2022. Let's go. <laughs> well, let's get into the new music. Lead single, Independent. Ooh, ooh. Tell us about it. What was the inspiration behind that single? Independent, I love the fact that this song is moving the way that it's moving. We're on Seattle radio because again, we were, I feel like we were overdue for an independent song, not just for the ladies, but for the fellas too. For right. everybody to just feel like, hey, I'm independent. I don't need nobody to do nothing for me. I can stand in a room and feel confident in all yeah. things. Yeah. So when I was writing this song, I was like, we got to bring that back. So that's why I had to put the Bootsy reference, I-N-B-E, you know, because it's I'm a Florida boy. You got to stick right, to Florida. Right. So um, I sat down with Zaire, who's the feature on the record. She's an amazing artist, man. She actually wrote, uh, Disrespectfully, another oh. track on the album. Yeah. And I, I felt like her voice would be perfect, matched it with mine on the record. So it just, it came out perfect, man. And that record, it definitely did what I wanted it to, to do. And I, and I read for the video, you wanted that Puff Daddy, Mace, Been Around the World, remix uh, uh, video. Why was that so yeah. important to you? Because that video was so minimal, but so fun. Yeah, it, 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 like you could really get into the song because you weren't looking at well, everything that was going on in the video. You were just focused on them just having a good time in one room, just chilling. And you really could get the song. You could really just understand what was going on and just see their artistry and see them move as artists. And that's kind of the vibe I wanted. Not too much going on, just enough yeah. to where you get the song, we kind of dance a little bit, and it's just oh. a fun vibe. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about the debut album. Like I had to do the show ooh. years ago. <laughs> yeah, the time, but now uh, Flamingo Drive. Now you grew up on the street, Flamingo Drive. Is that correct? Yes, sir, in Boynton Beach. And so I knew that had to be part of the inspiration for this. Tell us how. What was the concept for the album, and what do you want the listener to walk away from after they listen to it? So I, I felt like I've done so much music. You know, I've done singles here, little EPs yeah. here. And when it comes to an album, I wanted it to be substance behind it. And I feel like Flamingo Drive made me the man I am today, the businessman I am today, the actor I am today. Like that street, I grew up on that street. I got everything I've learned came from that street, from my parents, from friends I grew up with. So all those experiences, those thoughts I had on that street, emotions, I wanted to put that into a body of work that felt yeah. like Antonio. Because I feel like everybody, when you meet me, you get Antonio, but you really can't tell Antonio until you meet me. And I wanted people to hear me before they saw me and right. feel me before they saw me. So I felt like I had to put that into this project some way. So that's why everything on this project is some type of emotion I felt while living on that street. And I feel like this is one of my strongest pieces yet, man. Mm -hmm. And I feel like because it's home, it feels like home to yeah. me. And it's talking about things that happened while I was home. So right. that's why it was so important to title this project Flamingo Drive. Shout out to my mama. Yeah, got to, got to. Mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you know when you were recording this project, how'd you know, okay, it's done? We can we can seal it and put it out there. How'd you know that? This project has been in the works for a long time, yeah. but then I started acting really heavily. So I started, you know, trying to find time to right. fit in everything. And I think I got to a point where I was like, it can't be perfect. Because in my mind, you know, as artists, as people, right. even just regular everyday people, we want things to be perfect, be right yeah. all the time. And if we wait for the, everything to be perfect, we'll never, never do nothing. We'll always never man so mm -hmm. i got to a point where i was like i feel comfortable with the songs that i have now it feels good it feels solid to me it feels complete i was at a i was at ease and i know when i'm at ease i'm at peace i'm in the right place yeah. excuse me i'd be like frantic i'd be like ah come on we gotta get like four more songs i gotta get i wasn't in that place i was very peaceful i was like okay i think this we had a good solid place i think this is the song and from now i was like let's lock it in i got my manager I was like let's lock a date in because if i don't now nah, the Libra me gonna kick in. I'm gonna get real, you know. Oh, you a Libra? Oh yeah, I'm All a right Libra dog. All right, know that then. I'll get finicky, and I'll be like, oh, well, I don't know. So I was yeah. like, let's just lock it in, and we locked it in, man. We it's, it's out now. <laughs> How do you feel? I mean, here all the music you created over the years, your debut album, you get to name it after the street you grew up on. Yeah. And now, what as an artist? How do you feel? I, I'm usually I would be a nervous wreck right now. I'd be like, oh. I hope it's running up. I hope the nerve. Oh, numbers. Oh, one of them. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. I'm like I said. I'm very at peace right now. I feel like I, this album is gonna do what it's supposed to do. It's gonna open right. up the doors. It's supposed to open up for me. Um, so I'm really at peace, man. I'm ready to get out into the world and perform these records because you know I'm a stage artist. I love entertaining, so yeah. I'm ready to get a touch the stage with this project, man, and just perform it for people. Absolutely, absolutely. What are some of your favorite tracks on? I know it's like picking children, but what's your some of your Ooh, favorite? Man, I go. <laughs> 
I, I was saying earlier, every day my favorite changes. Um, yeah. Yeah. But right now, it'll be hands over fire and disrespectfully. Okay. And but then why? nice and Malibu too. But then, oh, man, it's like every day. But I'm going to say right now, hands over fire and disrespect. Yeah, yeah. Well, the album is out now for Mingle Drive. Where can everyone follow you and keep up with everything you have going on? Because I know the best is yet to come. So where can we keep up? Ooh, so make sure you go to my website, AntonioRamsey.com. I'm an Instagram junkie. I'm always on Instagram at yeah. I am Antonio Ramsey. Um, and just, you know, follow me, man. I'll follow you back and more things to come. You ready for some more visuals? All that good stuff. Absolutely. Well, I think again goes out to Antonio Ramsey for joining us tonight. The new album, Flamingo Drive, is available wherever Ooh. you buy your music. For, for more information, go to StephenIShow.com. Antonio, much success to you and God bless. Thank you, Stephen. I appreciate it, man. All right, right back after this. All right.